Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to take a look at the 2022 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 252 RVLE. This is the latest version of this 252, and it comes in at 5,456 pounds as we see it here equipped today. And it's gonna be about 29 feet, 11 inches from hitch to bumper. Surveyor has done a bunch of new feature changes. And really, I think this is a lot better than the versions that came out even you know three or four weeks ago. And it is gonna feature a new carpetless slide out, 60 by 80 true queen bed, enclosed and forced air heated underbelly, a standard 80 watt solar panel, outside kitchen standard on every floor plan, a huge bathroom with gigantic wardrobe, giant pantry, great kitchen space, and a ton of other awesome features and amenities. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and we're going to talk about all of those great features and tons more so let's go ahead now and jump on to the inside all right guys so we're on the inside of the 252 rb le by surveyor legend so starting off you can see that you have a very nice open concept floor plan here in the living area let's get something big and the biggest change to this trailer out of the way real quick Surveyor now has completely carpetless slide outs. So there is no carpet in any Surveyor any longer, which is amazing. I absolutely love that. I think a lot of customers will too. Now in the slide out, you can see that you've got great big windows. The slide and windows do open for airflow. And you also have got the big picture window in the slide out. Now I do wish that would open for some airflow, but it is okay. Um, every other window in this trailer does open except for the front windshield, but that's a little bit different. Now I get a lot of questions on this model. Is there a freestanding table and chairs option? And no, there is not. This one has a booth dinette. That is the standard seating arrangement for in the slide out. Now we'll take a look at the, at the storage here in just a little bit. And this will turn down into a decent sized bed. And one of the things I love about the Surveyor dinettes is they're a lot bigger than a lot of the competition's two bench dinette. They have a lot more room um, width wise and length wise between the cushion and the table. So it's a lot easier to get in and out of there. Now over here, we did apply the optional theater seats. You can also get this with a trifold sleeper sofa that will turn out into an extra bed if you did want to. But since this is a direct view entertainment center, we did want to bring in the theater seating option. Now, these are not the heat massage, all that good stuff, but they do recline and it's a great way to kick back and relax after a long day of camping. You've got this nice little side stand over here and there's actually household and USB outlets right there so you can charge some devices. Now, all of your countertops in here are gonna be pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. These are actually a little bit better than what some people are using. These are Surfex countertops and they're scratch, stain, and chip resistant. And I really like this kind of live edge, you know, um, look to their countertops in their dinette. I really do like that. You can see the amber accent light above the slide out. I like that compared to a white or a blue like some other brands are using. And Surveyor uses a very aggressive lighting package. It does not feel dark in here at all. You've also got a 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series AC standard. So you don't have to pay to upgrade that, which is again is always a nice feature. I like when they standardize things like that. You are going to have your Thermostat here, light switch, that's actually for the bedroom. And then I like their uh, their kind of little painting art thing, whatever you want to call it there. As we spin around this way and take a seat at the theater seats here, you can see that you are directly across 
from the entertainment center. Now you do have to look up just slightly, but it's not as bad as some. A lot of them will take, will put the TV as high up on the wall as they can. Now in here, Surveyor is a lot taller than the competition or than most ultralight trailers. These are going to have a six foot nine inch linear profile to the roof. So a standard trailer is six and a half foot wall. So these are three inches taller. And what that's going to give you is taller cabinets, more room in the shower, taller bunks if we were in a bunkhouse, which is really nice it, it, for taller people especially. Now something Surveyor does not do is in-floor ducted heat. They're going to do cabinet ducted heating. And actually a good spot to show that is right here. So this is an easy cleaning camper, which is something a lot of people do look for. Now here's going to be the kitchen. We'll take a look at that in a little more detail here shortly. Um, now you do have pleated nightshades on all of your windows. I do wish those were a little bit darker in color. And this trailer is lacking a little bit on campsite windows. They don't do a window in the entry door either, and I think that would really open it up just a little bit, but that's just my opinion. Lastly, before we take a look at all the storage, you do have an AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system right here that does have HDMI and USB plugs so that you can hook up a CD or a DVD player or anything like that. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead now and we will open up all of this kitchen space and take a look at all of the storage. And I tell you, for a under 30 foot couples trailer, this has got one heck of a kitchen. Let's go ahead and take a look. You're going to like this. So starting off with your living and kitchen area storage above your theater seats, you've got some really nice sized cabinets over here. I really like that they included those. All of your cabinets in a surveyor are going to be pocket screwed cabinetry. So if you feel back here where the two pieces of wood come together, there's going to be a screw and glue back there that hold all these cabinets together. Now these are what we call a lumber core cabinet. So what that means to you as a consumer is these are real wood cabinet styles and doors, but they have a sticker wrap. Now any doors that flip up like this in a surveyor are going to uh, have these strut supports. I really appreciate that they went the little bit extra mile with that. And I tell you, these struts really hold these doors down or up, depending on, you know, which way you have the door open. So I do like that. As we come over here into the kitchen proper, you've got great storage up top. I kind of wish they would have put a shelf up there. Um, but there's benefits both ways. You can either put some shelf organizers in there or the one problem with putting a shelf in there is if you have some taller things, like let's say a, uh, a sun tea jar, for example. Um, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a weird tangent. Um, if you're from the South, you do, but um, where you can, you know, have a big pitcher of tea that you set out in the sun uh, or a water with a tea bag in it that you set out in the sun and, and, and it makes it that way. But if you have one of those big jars that's used for that, it's kind of hard to fit those when there is a shelf in the cabinet. So there's benefits both ways. You're going to have great cabinetry space, high rise uh, faucet there. You're going to have a one basin farm style sink. And part of this little pink stuff, that is actually antifreeze. These units, when they come in from the factory, they are already winterized. Since we don't ever know how long they're going to sit out here, that's one of the things the manufacturer does. That way we don't have to do it. Down here, you've got good storage space there for some pots and pans or a trash can or something. Um, I kind of wish they would have left one of these out so you could put a trash can in there. But I'll show you, you have a really good spot for that as well in the pantry. Three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers there. Then you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. That'll fold up and back and form a backsplash. And then back in the back here, you've got a knife block and a utensil holder, which is really neat. I like that they do little things like that. And then above here, you're going to have your microwave and hood range vent combo. 
Now we'll come back to the refrigerator here in just a minute, but I do want to show you, you do have a little bit of storage underneath the TV, enough for some DVDs or CDs or books or something. And then under both sides of the dinette, you have their easy access dinette storage. This is really nice for big things. I do wish they would put a door on each end. That way, if you do need to slide some stuff in and out, you can without having to pick it up. But it is a really creative way for under dinette storage. Now, the biggest thing and that I don't like is that you have to take this cushion off to raise that. I wish you could, you know, not have to do that. You could just raise it up. But that's that's so minor. Now, before I forget, you do have an electrical outlet underneath there. Um, you won't see any electrical outlets in these sidewalls in a laminated product, mainly because the outlets are too thick. Although I really do think they could have put one right here. And then over here, you're gonna have your solar charge controller, your awning and slide out controls, lighting controls, and then the switch for your uh, Wi-Fi booster slash hotspot. Now that is prepped for the hotspot. It doesn't come with it. I do want to be uh, completely fair there. Over here, you've got your 10.7 cubic foot DC compressor fridge from Norcold. This will run off of the battery and the solar panel will really help keep uh, up with demand of this. This only uses three amps of power when it's down to temperature and it only cools off in about an hour and a half. Now the things I like about this one, you've got your power button here. Not all of these are created equal. Not all of them have that. This also has separate thermostats for your freezer and refrigerator, which is really nice. And you can slow the, the fan speed down at night if you have guests sleeping out here because these things can kind of be a little noisy sometimes. Now, if that wasn't enough storage, you've got this massive pantry. I mean, this thing is huge. You could put a trash can down here on the floor. You've got all kinds of space there. Um, it's really, really a well thought out design how they were able to include this. But with that being said, let's go ahead now and jump back to the bathroom. All right, guys, so stepping back into the bathroom. First thing uh, I do want to talk about, you do have a pocket door here to separate that off. You're going to have some nice towel hooks right above your porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around that in front of the toilet as well as on each side. So if you're a little bit wider in the hips or a little taller like me, you've got plenty of room there. Nice big sink. Notice they do the little backsplash here as well as in the kitchen. I really do like that. You can fit adult sized hands in here. Right here's going to be your tank monitoring panel and your water pump and water heater on gas and electric switches. GFI protected outlet on the side there and some good storage down there for some toiletries and things of that sort. Now up here you're going to have your medicine cabinet with toothbrush holders in the back of the mirror. So I really do like that. You've got your powered vent fan up here as well as a skylight. You could always put a max air vent fan in there if you did want to, uh, you know, the one of the bigger fans. 30 by 36 inch shower, great skylight placement there, right over where you're gonna be, you know, underneath the shower head. ABS plastic surround, they have huge uh, corner shelves too. You can actually fit bottles of shampoo on that too, which is nice. And the, I really like that they're not doing a travel trailer tub. Light switch here to turn on the lights in the bathroom. And then you're gonna have the slow close shower door, which is a really nice feature. Look at my goofy face. And then right here, you're gonna have a massive linen cabinet or wardrobe. And I really do like that they give you the space to be able to kind of pick your own adventure and use it how you want to. If you wanna use it as a giant closet, you can do that. If you wanna put a shelf organizer in here and use it for a whole bunch of towels and things, you can do that too. So I really do like that. And I like that these doors are mirrored to really open up this space. All right, guys, so with that being said, 
let's go ahead and jump up to the master bedroom. Okay guys, so as we step into the master bedroom, you've got a pocket door again. Light switch for your bedroom lights is interestingly right here. I kind of wish they would have put that on the other side. I get it, there's a pocket door there, but they could have put the pocket door on this side to be completely honest with you. Um, you're gonna have a 60 by 80 true queen bed, which is nice. Every surveyor has that. So whether you're looking at a 30 footer like this or a 23 footer, like one of their single axles, they still have the 80 inch true queen bed. Now here, you're gonna have a drawer on each side, household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed, cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. Both of them do open. You can see the windshield there. Now there is Storage underneath the bed. Notice that they're using dual struts. A lot of brands have started to not do that. You have AC and heat in here as well. Now, I really like how Surveyor does their wardrobe cabinets. They were the first brand to do this, but they have really nice, tall wardrobe uh, cabinets. And I'll get to what's behind them here in just a minute in those cubby holes. But you do have netted storage up top there. Would it be nice to have doors? Sure, but that does cost a little bit extra. So I I think they could have gone either way. Is this the correct way for some? Maybe, for some, maybe not. But the nice thing is, is you do have storage up there. You've got a vent up there. You could always upgrade that to a powered vent fan. Um, this is not 50 amp service. So no, you cannot put a second AC up there. TV backer over here on the wall with the appropriate connections. You could probably fit a 24 or 28 inch. TV back there. And then back here, you're going to have cup holders. And the nice thing too, is this bottom panel here removes and you've got household outlets on both sides of there. So this is a perfect spot for a CPAP machine or phone chargers, alarm clocks, whatever you need. So I really do like that. Oh, you know what that would be a good place for too? Is to plug in a heated mattress pad or a heated blanket. I never thought about that. That's a good idea. Um, I do like that. So all right guys, that's going to wrap it up for the inside. Let's go ahead and close this slide out up and look at it in road mode. Okay guys, so with the slide out closed, you're not going to be able to get to your theater seats, you know, to watch TV or anything. You can get to these cabinets up here. There's a better look at that amber accent light. You can get to the dinette. You can get to all of the kitchen space. And I mean every single bit of it too, which is nice. Now, since the slide out stops here, you're not going to be able to get to the TV or those two cabinets. Of course, you, you could get to the radio. But you can get to your pantry. You can get to the refrigerator very easily. Again, it's past the slide out. And then you can also get to your bathroom. And if we walk up to the front of the trailer, you can get to the bedroom. So I'm going to call this one completely travel accessible. And that is hard to find in a 30 foot trailer. Believe me, there's all, you know, of course you can't get to, Two little bitty cabinets, but you can get to 99% of it. I think for most people, that's going to be good enough. Let's go ahead and jump on to the outside now. All right, guys, we're on the outside of this 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 252 RBLE. And man, why is it every time I go to record the exterior tour, the wind gets up? I guess we just have to live with it. Up here, you've got your power tongue jack. Safety chain hook right there. Pardon my battery box. And then you have a seven-way Barkman cord holder back there as well. Battery disconnect, rails for your battery, two 20-pound propane tanks. You've got the automotive grade windshield, fiberglass unit. So this is a fully laminated product. Diamond plate rock guard down there as well. You're gonna have four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are manual. And then in here, you've got a great pass-through storage. This is the griddle for the outside kitchen. I just don't want to unbox that until somebody comes and buys this trailer. You're going to have your motion sensor light and a uh, drill bit adapter to run these jacks with a cordless drill, which is honestly really cool. 
Now this gives you a good shot at how the surveyor walls are constructed. These have uh, double-sided welded aluminum cage construction. They also have aluminum bed bases, which is nice. Now these are gonna have one inch thick walls, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch, excuse me. Let me get that, uh, get that right. Magnetic hole backs on all your baggage doors. Slam latch on this one, which is kind of nice. I wish they would do that on all of them, just to be, you know, they're all the same, but it is what it is. Now you've got a huge power awning. I believe that's a 20 foot power awning. I don't know that they could put a larger power awning on there. LED light strips up in there as well. You've got the porch light, dual outside speakers, larger entry assist handle. Then you're also gonna have the more ride step above steps. These will fold up inside the door and have adjustable feet for uneven terrain. Now, if we look up underneath here, this is a major surveyor DNA item. You can see that you have a forced air and fully enclosed heated underbelly. Now, what I mean by forced air is there is a dedicated duct from the furnace that pumps hot air into this underbelly. It's not just radiant heat like a lot of their competition. Surveyor also uses Asdale composite sidewalls. Now, what that means for you as a consumer is these anything, so your front wall, rear wall, side walls, and the entire slide out box are waterproof. And that's one of the things that Asdale does. It's waterproof, mold proof, and mildew proof. And it also has double the insulation value. So this basically has the insulation of a two inch thick wall, which is really cool. It doesn't off gas the formaldehyde and it's super lightweight, which is how they're able to get a 30 foot trailer at only 5,400 pounds. Now over here, you're gonna have your cable and power for an outside TV. They do not put a back room in the wall. So this is something you'd put out on a table. There's your rear uh, jacks, and then you've got a propane quick connect down there as well. Again, you do have a griddle that comes with this, and then there's a little dump sink that will fit right here. Every surveyor has an outside kitchen with this same setup. So you've got your mini fridge, griddle, and little sink. You're also gonna have a cold water spray port here. So it'll come with a hose for cold water there. Again, I apologize for wind noise. I just have to live with it, I guess. Square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky. These guys are using powder coated frames now, which is really cool too. Ladder to get up to the one piece walkable roof, backup camera prep, all LED tail and marker lights. That is a PVC roof with a limited lifetime warranty on it too. Now over here, you're gonna have your city water connection, black tank flush, cable and satellite hookups, and your 30 amp service, as well as your gray and black tank dumps. Notice they're not under the slide out and they're tucked up. Uh, they're not hanging down real low like a lot of the competition. Great looking aluminum wheels. They're black aluminum. They look really sharp. Surveyor does laminate every single wall so you can pound on your slide out boxes, your rear wall, front wall, all that. They're all laminated, which is really nice. And these are gonna be more of your luxury lightweight. Um, a lot of people mis you know, have misconceptions because some of their smaller ones don't have a ducted AC, but these are what is, are considered a luxury lightweight. Now right here is gonna be your fresh water connection, six gallon gas and electric water heater, and the other side of your pass-through storage. Let's take a look at the numbers here. This one again is gonna weigh 5,456 pounds, and it's gonna be about 29 feet, seven inches in overall length. And it's gonna have a GVWR of somewhere in the neighborhood of 7,900 pounds. So you've got a decent cargo carrying capacity on this. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Surveyor Legend 252 RBLE by Forest River. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you'd like pricing and availability, I will always leave a link down below where you can check that at any time. You can also call us at Custom RV at 806-335-2336 or you can email us at contact at custom-rv.com. 
If you're interested in purchasing this specific unit and you would like purchase details and information, you can always call me or text me at 806-382-6274. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That'll help you stay up to date with all of our new trailers that we have coming in and out of here at Custom RV. Now, remember at Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. With that being said, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon or hear from you. And have a wonderful rest of your day. Let's get out there and do some camping.